everyone, welcome back. So today we are going to be thinking about making up our own evil villain. Yesterday we made our own super duper superheroes, so today we're going to do our evil villain. And again, we're going to be thinking about their appearance, what they like and what they don't like, and their personality. So yesterday you should have created your superhero based on a fruit or a vegetable and I suggested that you did your favourite fruit or vegetable. Remember mine was called Sassy Strawberry and I know that you came up with some really great names as well. So today we need to create an evil villain who's going to cause chaos and destruction for your superhero to sort out. So what I would like you to do is I would like you to have a think about Perhaps you could choose your least favourite fruit or vegetable today to be your villain. So you might want to pause the video and have a think about which fruit or vegetable you want to choose to be your bad guy. So hopefully you've managed to think of a fruit or vegetable to be your evil villain. For my example, I have chosen a Russell sprout. I don't really like Russell sprouts, so I thought they would be a good baddie. So I've put a picture of them there just to remind you what they look like. You can choose whatever fruit or vegetable you like. You don't have to do sprouts. You can do whatever you like. It's your choice because it's your writing. So what I'd like you to do now is think about what evil villain name you're going to give to your fruit or vegetable. What they're going to look like once they've got their evil villain outfit. What do they like? What are their dislikes? Their fears and worries and what other supermarket items would say. These are the same questions we thought about for our superhero, but this time we need to make sure we're thinking about our baddie. So pause the video and have a think about your evil villain that you want to create, how you could answer those questions on the slide. So I've thought about my sprout, who's going to be my evil villain, and thought about all of those questions that were on the slide before. So I've decided to give my sprout the evil villain name of Sinister Sprout. Sinister just means like he's kind of up to no good. He's a bit mysterious, but not in a good way. So what I've then done is I've tried to put all of the ideas I had when I thought about those questions into some sentences. So here is my example. Remember, you don't need to copy it. This is just to give you an idea of what Mrs. Lee and me are looking for. So. Have you seen this vegetable? So I started with a question to make it sound a bit more interesting. Sinister Sprout is the worst villain ever. He is round and green and smells like rotten eggs. Sinister Sprout's mask is purple and he wears a stripy cape. His leather boots squeak when he walks. Sinister Sprout loves upsetting other fruits and vegetables with his smelly leaves. He likes to play tricks on them and leave them in distress. Sinister Sprout's favourite trick is to peel the skin off all the bananas so they get cold. Oh, he's horrible, isn't he? So as I've just said, you can see that I've started with a question. Have you seen this vegetable? And then I've put a question mark at the end. I've also put some exclamation marks in to show that he is the worst villain ever and how mean it is to peel the skin off all the bananas to try and make my writing sound a bit more interesting. You can also use exclamation marks if you were shouting or to so show that someone is excited. So here you can see I've carried on with my ideas answering the questions that I had on the screen before. Sinister Sprout is only afraid of one thing and that is Sassy Strawberry. He worries that she will throw sharp tiny seeds at him and ruin his dastardly plans. Sassy Strawberry thinks that Sinister Sprout is the worst vegetable in the whole supermarket. Carrot thinks that Sinister Sprout belongs in freezer jail. So you can see that I've used another exclamation mark to show something exciting. And also all the way through my writing, I've got some adjectives in, some noun phrases to make it a bit more interesting. If you want to, you can also use conjunctions like we did yesterday. But what I'd really like you to do is think about, could you include a question and could you include an exclamation mark somewhere in your writing? So once you've got all your ideas ready, remember, you can watch this video again if you need to. You need to get writing. So there is a sheet for you to use, but if you don't have a sheet, you can write it on a piece of paper. What you might want to do, first of all, is draw a picture of your fruit or vegetable villain just to get an idea of what they would look like, what their outfit might be. And then you need to describe them like I've described Sinister Sprout. 
So don't forget that we need full stops, we need capital letters after full stops and we need finger spaces. And remember my challenge, can you include a question and use an exclamation mark? Remember, we'd also love to see some adjectives, but think really carefully about questions and exclamation marks today. There might be some star slips if we do a great job. So when you have finished your work, remember to check it through. Make sure you've included everything that you wanted to. Make sure you've not made any mistakes that you can see. Then we will share some of our ideas at the end of the English lesson and you can email your work to us. The email address is on the video. Get a grown up to help you with that. So I hope you really enjoy writing this. I'm looking forward to learning all about these evil fruit and vegetables that are going to cause absolute chaos in our stories. And I will see you later.